Hi, welcome to this uh, short video on pseudocode. We're going to be releasing a few of these over the next couple of days, and the first problem we're going to be focusing on is the T example. Now, today's video is going to be as basic as we can get. So, uh, if you're struggling with understanding variables and simple loops, please watch this video. If not, you can skip this one and join us back later on in the series. Okay, so let's boil our water for the cup of tea. Okay, that's all we're going to be doing today. So we're not going to worry about any other things other than a cup, a kettle, a timer and some water. Okay, so let's start with our variables. What are we going to need? We're going to need a cup and we're going to need a kettle and in that cup we're going to be putting one unit of water and we're not going to put anything in the kettle just yet so we're going to start off uh, with a cup of water and an empty kettle so what we're going to do we're going to pour the water in the cup into the kettle and in pseudocode we can just say swap around these values for that so we're going to draw an arrow with two heads and swap around with the cup. So after this has run, the cup will be empty and the kettle will have the value of one in it. OK, so now we're going to need a timer to keep track of the kettle, which is boiling. So in that timer, let's just say that we're putting 60. Now, don't get this confused. This is moving on to time. So we're just having a random number that signifies time now. And we're going to count this timer up to 60. So we're going to need something that counts. And for that, we're going to just create an I. Now, I is quite common because I is obviously the first letter of iterative. And this is our iterative value. OK, so let's start that off at one and count it up. So how do we count it up? There's a few ways. We can either do it as a for loop or a while loop, but we're going to do a while loop today. So while we have a value of i, pens change there, whilst we have a value of i that is less than the value in the timer, remember the timer is going to be 60 and the i is going to start off being 1, do a loop. Now, we're going to need to keep track of that i value, and that's all we need to do in this loop. So we just want to count that up to 60. And some of you may be saying, well, why don't we just add 59 to that? Well, the idea of our timer is that it takes time. So we're going to assume that every second this processes. So uh, we're going to assume we're running on a very old computer that takes ages to do calculations. And every second it can add one number together. So let's do i. And in that value of i, we're going to put the current value of i, which will become the old value of i, plus 1. OK, so now that will loop up, that will keep going. And then once it reaches 60, it will say, no, this is no longer true, this statement here. We're going to exit out of it. So once we now know that we've reached 60, we can put the cup here. And we can swap it around with the kettle. So now the kettle will become empty and the cup will become full. And then we can return our cup. So now you have a hot cup of boiling water for your cup of tea. Hope this helped and we're going to be releasing a few more videos as I said earlier. So the next example we're going to be covering is a more complex approach where we will be including the tea bag as well, the next step of the tea example.